All right, so the Fox News and Dominion lawsuit is the gift that keeps on giving. So, um, the judge in the case has appointed a special master because apparently it's news to the judge that Fox News lies. Because nobody knew that they lie. I mean, that's the whole basis of Dominion's lawsuit, is that they lied about them knowingly. So, the fact that they lied about turning over all their evidence shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody. But anyway, from the Deadline article, newly revealed recordings of Maria Bartiromo's conversation with, wait a minute, with Sidney Powell, Rudy Giuliani, and others have left a Delaware judge again upset with Fox's legal team. <sighs> judge Eric M. Davis indicated Wednesday that he would appoint a special master to investigate Fox's representations to the court, including those made in December that it had complied with its discovery obligations to Dominion Voting Systems in their $1.6 billion defamation case. Davis said that he was very concerned that the Bartiromo recordings were only turned over to Dominion's attorneys last week. Dominion attorney Davida Brook claimed that Fox withheld key evidence until the last minute and that there may be more that needed to be produced. Again, Anybody who's familiar with this trial should not be surprised whatsoever, or familiar with Fox, for that matter. Last week, Fox produced recordings um, made by Bartiromo's former producer, Abby Grossberg, who has filed a separate lawsuit against Fox, claiming she was instructed to mislead in her deposition testimony. In her lawsuit, she claims discrimination and retaliation, Charges that the network denies, but I believe, <laughs> because, again. But she also claimed that the Fox legal team failed to produce the recordings to Dominion's attorneys during the discovery process. So, let's get to it. On Fox News and other outlets like Newsmax and One America News, Powell and Giuliani were central figures in promoting Donald Trump's unfounded claims that the 2020 presidential election was rigged. In one of the recordings on November 15, 2020, Bartiromo is heard talking to Giuliani before he guested on her Sunday show that week to talk about Donald Trump's election fraud claims. Well, that's what I was going to ask you about. Is this multiple lawsuits or one lawsuit? What about this software, this, this Dominion software, the Fox host asked. That's a little harder, Giuliani said. Okay, and then this Dominion software, does Nancy Pelosi have an interest in it, Bartiromo said. I have read that. I can't prove that, Giuliani said. After the November 15th show, Dor Bartiromo is heard asking Powell, is there anything more that I can do for you? Powell asked, you could put a cry on on the bottom that mentioned our defense fund for this. One of Bartiromo's show staffers is heard saying, we can't do that. But Bartiromo takes down the information as if it's a possibility. Now, before I continue um, with the with the, what Giuliani said, that he can't prove it. Bartiromo said on her show that, as a fact, that Nancy Pelosi did have a stake in Dominion, which, for some reason, this article doesn't bring that up, which I don't know why. Um, and as I'm going to give Bartiromo some slack on the cryon, because... You know, it could be just her humoring Sidney Powell. I don't know if they actually ran it. Um, in legal filings, Grossberg has also cited other experts, 
including one in which Bartiromo asked Powell before an interview, you want to go into the software? What is your most compelling evidence? Powell answered that the Trump campaign had a witness who's given a foreign declaration about how the voting software was created, why it was created, and watched it work. Bartiromo did not press the matter further, according to Grossberg. In another conversation with a high-ranking advisor to Trump, conducted in December 2020, Bartiromo asked about potentially fraudulent voting machines in Georgia. The advisor told Bartiromo that there were no issues with the machines. Dominion's Brooke said the recordings are obviously relevant to the case, but were only turned over to them by Fox's team last week. All right. Davis agreed on the importance of the recordings, but as they go to questions of actual malice and ordered that Fox make Bartiromo available for an addition depo additional deposition at the network's cost. Bartiromo also is on the witness list to testify in the trial. Oh, I cannot wait till the trial. This is going to be so much fun. If there's a deposition that needs to be done, it will be done and will be done at the cost of Fox, David, David said. Unfortunately, I'm worried about what Fox is worried about, which is that, um, that they'll be replaced by even crazier people. Anyway. The judge also suggested that Fox attorneys could face additional sanctions based on the special master investigation and that they should preserve emails and other documents related to another recent disclosure in the case that Rupert Murdoch serves as an officer of both Fox News and Fox Corps, which I didn't know they were separate entities. Fox attorney Dan Webb said the, that it did not try to conceal Murdoch's role and that it was available for in public SEC documents. Dominion also claimed that there were other potential evidence that has yet to be produced, including any documents related to Brett Baer's suggestion in November 2020 that the network devote a Sunday evening special program to debunking the election fraud claims. Dominion's Brooks cited an NPR report this week that Bayer had offered the suggestion but never got an answer. Fox's attorney Michael Skokna argued that the only that he only I cannot read argued that they only learned of Grossberg's recordings after she filed her lawsuit last month and then sought to amend her deposition testimony. Last year, Grossberg turned over her phone to Fox lawyers and its contents were imaged for use in discovery. But the recordings were not found then, according to Skokna. Fox's attorneys are also balking at what they see as late production of financial documents on the part of Dominion. But the judge was clearly irked by the late revelations in the case. He even mocked Bartiromo at one point, telling Skokna that she, that she is clearly neutral. The attorneys paused for a bit before Davis said, I am being sarcastic. The judge said that he was referring to Bartiromo's conduct on the call with Powell in that the Fox host wanted to override her staff and put the defense fund information on the Chiron. Skokna said that he believes that it never actually appeared. Thank goodness, the judge said. This is a Fox problem, Davis said. These tape recordings, even in proper context, they relate directly to one of the statements that was litigated. He said that there was a question of fact as to timing, or when did people know what. This would be relevant to that inquiry, even if put in full context, the judge said. Fox is withholding an additional recording of Barter Romo made in December 2020 on the grounds that the conversation was with a confidential source as protected by reportorial privilege. She lies so much. She isn't a reporter. <laughs> she is not a reporter. This should not be a privilege of 
She should not have reporters' privileges because she's not a damn reporter. A Fox spokesperson said in a statement, as counsel explained to the court, Fox produced the supplemental information from Ms. Grossberg when, they, when we first learned it. Grossberg's attorney, Parisis Flipatos, and Tanvir Rahman said in a statement, Ms. Grossberg remains committed to speaking the truth in all appropriate forms, including before a special master appointed by the court, while our firm will continue to ensure that she obtains the justice she deserves. Jury selection in the trial is scheduled to begin on Thursday, and the trial is to start on Monday. And this was, this article was released the 12th, so Wednesday, so the trial should start this Monday. And it's going to be fun, because people are going to discover that just how bad Fox News really is. Now... Obviously, Fox News viewers aren't going to find this out because, of course, they're not going to air their dirty laundry on Fox. But it would be nice if they found out. I I doubt any of them watch this channel, so I doubt they'll find out from me. But, yeah, it would be nice if they were aware. I remember having a conversation with someone on Twitter who didn't even know that Dominion was considering a lawsuit, let alone suing Fox. So, I don't think Fox News viewers are going to change. But this could hurt Fox anyway. Even if the viewers are blindly following Fox News, this is going to hurt Fox News. And I hope it does. Like I said, I'm not thrilled with the fact that the, these viewers will probably just just switch over to OAN or Newsmax or something even more hardcore. But, so that's the latest I have on the trial. And, like I said, I'm looking forward to following it. And if any other juicy tidbits get explored I will definitely do a video on that and I'm really curious what's going to happen because Fox News is dealing with two lawsuits one from this former producer who I don't know got a conscience at some point and um and um the Dominion lawsuit which you know it serves them right. It's one thing to attack people, who, you know, be bullies and attack people who can't defend themselves. They attack someone who can defend themselves. So, yeah, good on them. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that this is happening because if, if you're going to be soulless and spineless, because we've seen that most of these hosts who... Um, propagated the stuff didn't actually believe it so yeah spineless and soulless so they're going to get what they deserve and you know this is going to ruin many a career I hope or maybe they'll just become even more spineless and soulless and get jobs at OAN or Newsmax or somewhere else where they can be shows. As long as they're being paid, they don't give a crap. Um, but with that, I will see you guys next time.